Ethan, a good hour or so of rugby for you tonight. Um, split between two teams. How was that for you as an experience? <laughs> it was interesting. It takes me back to sort of under 12 days where you sort of play half of one team after another. But no, it was good. It was a good experience. Um, some hard work with Coventry because, uh, you know, it's. It was a long night. The the Wandies play a lot of good rugby, and it was a uh, it was quite fun to have a switch and sort of get both sides. It took me a while to adjust to it though. How, how does it how does it work your head? I mean, one minute you're lining up, you're smashing. I, I guess they're your teammates as well, but you're smashing the Wanderers, and then you turn it around and you're looking at the same people you were just scrumming yeah. down with. Yeah, it was a bit odd because uh, I sort of had the same shorts on as well. So I looked down, see me see my cov socks on when I'm playing for Wandies, be running back to get into the defensive line and sort of be going to try and take a ball for Coventry and and realise I'm playing for one Ds, but no, I, I adjusted to it eventually, got into it. On a positive note, how, how good has it been for you being here at Coventry and with the Wanderers as well, on, not, not just this evening, but I mean throughout this season so far? Oh, it's been brilliant. Um, I've, it's been really good to get some experience here at a sort of a national one level. There's some really, there's some old boys coming down from sort of Prem who, who are playing in this league, so I'm learning a lot every week. And uh, the forwards coach here, Dave Adelton, has been, been really good in helping my development in the set piece, which was a big target for me this year. And uh, it's led to me getting a, two, a couple of starts for the One Ds and, and a bit of one, a bit more One Ds game time this season. So, really enjoying it. Looking out on the pitch, it's a bit cut up, bit boggy tonight. It's not what the lads uh, in the Wanderers team would be used to. Is that just all part of the deal here? Uh, yeah, well, so sort of, I mean, it's it's a bit of an advantage because we're obviously used to it. We train here and we play a week in, week out. So uh, I was sort of I was prepared for it to be running running through treacle, but uh, but no, no, it's, it was it was it was a good experience out there. You're still quite a young lad yourself in the junior academy. Um, when you look at your brother Alex and what he's done, does he act as a good role model for you? I mean, being in the same position as well. Uh, yeah, yeah, it really has been. I mean, uh, when I was on trial last season, I sort of I lived with him for a year, so I sort of got to know him even more, if, it, if it's possible, as my brother. But it's uh, it's been really good having him there. Sort of him just giving me some inside tips, you know, showing me the ropes, things to do, things not to do. You know, what's what would be good to do in a game, carrying, scrummaging. So. It's, uh, it's good to get his perspective on things because he's been here before and he's, he's worked his way through the system and now he's doing pretty well for himself. So. Is there still a bit of sibling rivalry there though? <laughs> yeah, there always is. A bit more than on a Tuesday, there's always a cheap shot or two.